Hey guys, today we're going to be watching a movie and we're going to be watching a Hulu original movie. It came out recently in the month of May, I believe, and it is called Crush. It stars Rowan Blanchard. It stars Rowan Blanchard, Isabella Ferreira, and Ali'i Cravalho. 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 Now, my discovery of this movie was probably very similar to a lot of people's on the internet. It was actually through one of Ali'i's TikToks, and it was this lovely TikTok. It looks cute. It looks fun. It looks fresh. She's just happy to, she's happy to, you know, be a part of this movie. And then you look at the caption. And shortly after that, the TikTok was removed. And we have heard nothing from this. So I don't really know what the actual dirt is behind this. I don't know if she knew before she filmed, if she knew after she filmed. I have no idea. But there's some, there's some sort of beef going on, and I don't really know. But all I know is that with these bangs, I look like Rowan Blanchard right now. And I've actually been told I look like Rowan Blanchard, and I don't know if that's like... I don't see it, but like some people say, but I don't... I'm not trying to claim that because I think she's like... You know, she's pretty. She's, you know, I don't want to like put that on her like I don't want to comment on her picture and be like twin and just like grown her day but I don't really know what the point of that TikTok was I don't know if she was just trying to be like a shady teenager or something or if there was something more to it but I would like to know I would like to know more details now now knowing that Ali and Rowan were like beefing during press or even on set just makes all this even better. I hope that their chemistry is through the roof because usually if people hate each other behind the scenes, their chemistry is amazing and it just seems so, it seems like there's so much tension. You could cut it with a knife. It's delicious. It's like, it's high intensity and get more actors that hate each other behind the scenes so that we can have glorious chemistry. Thank you. I've had a lot of mixed reviews about this. I've heard people that wanted me to watch it because they think I'm gonna like hate it and it's gonna be so, so funny to like roast. And then I have a, a lot of other people that are like super excited because they love this movie. So I am very torn. I don't have any influenced opinions yet. Not even a thousand likes. We're running circles around her. We're running circles around her, ladies. Not even a thousand likes. Oof. I've always been able to share anything with him. That's her drawings to get her into Cal Art. I'm. I'm in. I'm insanely scared. You think that your crush on Gabriella Campbell's is Cal Art worthy? What? I don't think. And I'm gonna be honest. Pause. I paused it. I don't think any of her art from. The things I've been seeing, I don't think any of the art is really Cal Arts worthy. It's, uh, it reminds me, and, and don't take this the wrong way because I mean it with the most disrespect ever. It reminds me of those mature rated R uh, family cartoons like Family Guy, Beavis and Butthead, like American Dad, Big Mouth. It reminds me of that animation style where it's like purposefully ugly, which is like definitely like a choice it's definitely a choice i don't even know where i'm going with this this is going into like a whole other conversation like don't flame me for my hot takes i just don't think her art is that worthy of caltech it looks it's, it looks kind of sloppy on gabriella campbell's is cal art worthy what unrequited love is the source of a lot of great art ew dude her eyes aren't even fucking even <gasps> dude she made gabby look ugly i'm so sorry but if my crush ever drew me like that i would be i would be livid i would i would be so upset i think it's kind of corny well i think that you can't draw for shit and i think that they're actually talented no you're so um i don't i, I can't i think I think you can't draw for shit. I don't even know her name. I totally forgot her name. This is gonna be the Heartstopper Tao's hair debacle. It's going to be a, a running, not even a running bit, it's going to be a running annoyance through the entire movie. 
It was sexual. Hey, Stacy. Hey, you. Oh, oh my God. It's Tila Dunn. You know I love some competition. Oh, you know I haven't missed a deadline since the fifth grade. Tila Dunn becoming the new king batch of like streaming movies is... It's gonna be a real, it's gonna be a real uh, culture shift. Culture shift in society where we move on from King Batch making cameos in teen streaming movies to Tila Dunn. Progress, I believe. Do you guys wanna come over after school and take edibles and watch Shrek? So you could- If this makes any sense, does this script give, does this script um, exude Buzzfeed? But Gab's just dates more, so everybody forgets that AJ square too. Oh my god, they're both. Oh my god, I didn't even know that Gabby was gay. I love that. I love it that she's not even. I thought this was gonna be. For some reason, I thought this was gonna be straight girl. Oh my god, pining after a straight girl, and they flipped it on me. She's not with you because she's straight. She's not with you because she doesn't like you. Take that. <laughs> Take that. Loser. L. You guys, I swear on my life, it's not me. It's AJ. Let's go. You could get into the future. AJ's a better artist than you. Well, it doesn't matter. All the art sucks. I don't even care if it's subjective, like art, like yada yada yada. It's just opinion. It's bad. It's literally bad. It's ugly. It's ugly. It's literally ugly. And like, you're, you're trying to convince me that she can get into an art school. She could not. It's ugly. Please hear me out. I'm applying to a summer program at Cal Arts and I don't think that's the only thing that's ruining the chances. I don't think that's the I don't think that's the reason you're not gonna make it in. The converse to work out in. You think I can't tell in the gym when people wear converse to work out in, like I understand. I already I can I can I can tell what you are from a mile away. I have an idea. How do you feel about running in a straight line? That's the only straight thing I can do. Okay. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. I get why you would do all this. I get why you would do all this for her. I understand it a, I, a lot more than I did before. Welcome to the high school experience. This is not her first high school party. That's such- Okay, pause. Pause. For her best friends to be them, like, it's so unrealistic for this to be her first ever high school party because she just, like, is very um easy to coerce into doing things from what I've seen in the movie. Like, she's kind of just, like, she's not as stubborn as they make her out to be. So, like, this is not her first high school party. And, I, and, I, and I'm sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my stomach that they would even write that as a plot in this to, like, everything she rejects high school she's super gay and she rejects high school like she's literally just like everyone else <laughs> she's just literally just like everyone else and i hate her i don't hate her i hate the script i think the script is like really bumming me out deep magnetic pulls mm -hmm. anything anyone excuse me aj there you are i don't think so but... did the virgin blood expire that can't be that was fresh okay yeah we can talk about track replacing okay i i i agree i agree i agree replacing uh uh the 2000s uh oh 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 my god i'm literally like i'm about to like hit the nail on the head with this one replacing replacing the emo kid in high school trope in high school movies with a witch <laughs> character there's something there and it's and it's ooh it's actually good I, honestly i kind of like i think everyone's i think everyone i think Ooh, oh, oh, it's really hard to get my words out. Um, I think subscribing to this notion and subscribing to this uh, pattern is actually going to be very, uh, it's going to be a very good way to time this era that we're in. Like emo, stereotypical emo kid in high school is like very much 2000s, maybe like late 90s, early 2000s to maybe 2010 and then 2010 to 2020s, um, which... And warlocks and fantasy creatures of many kind play play oh. i do have to say i pause i may just may just enjoy that it's like not just them 
I like that there's just a bunch of lesbians and that like most of the couples featured are lesbians. Like that's great. It's kind of like a fun little lesbian world. Well, I mean, that's like insinuating that lesbians don't exist in real life, but I, I just liked it. I like it that it's all very like compact into this uh, world and it's like lesbians can exist in all shapes and sizes. This movie is not to depict one type of lesbian, it's to depict a lot of types of lesbians. And if you want a different type of lesbian depicted, then you make that. And yeah. All I wanted to say was that I think it's cool that there's a bunch of lesbians. But now that the pressure's on and I have to send in my summer app, I have no idea what to send in. Have you started it yet? Don't. Don't even bring it out. You don't even need to bring it out because it's going to be embarrassing for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shit. You're really good. You're a big fat liar. You're a big fat liar and you need to, you know, pay for your crimes because lying isn't okay. And lying about someone's college apps, not e like even more not okay because it's not even about feelings. Like you're not going to get in. It is lacking. Talent. Emotion. Okay. Just... Don't be afraid to draw something a little more vulnerable. Or better. Or good. Don't be afraid to draw something good. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Flirting on the field is, is really something. I think they have a really good chemistry. Sorry. And my theory is being proven so right. My hypothesis is being proven so it, it's so freaking correct. Like, the, the more you hate each other behind the scenes, the better your chemistry will be. Of course. You can only make a seamless transition, a seamless pass off with your lover. Because you just can connect like that on another level. You have to be lesbian and you have to be in love. It's totally in their style and it has KP written all over it. Oh, yeah, that would do it. It's Gabriella. Oh my god, it's literally Gabby. Uh, you would never think it's her because she has pretty makeup, and you would never assume that people with pretty makeup would be good at art. Oh my god, I am on to you guys. You guys need to you guys need to get your, your list of suspects a lot better. You guys need to think it through a lot better. We're gonna have a motherfucking steak. No. I love them. I I am I am beginning to love them with every single line. Like I love them. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, her eyes are open. Uh, hold on, I have to take this. She's like, I I just had the weirdest kiss with Paige. <laughs> but that was her first kiss, so you have to let her. You have to. You get at least two tries on a kiss with someone you're flirting with. The first kiss and then the second kiss. If you're not good by the second kiss, we cannot do it anymore. I can't believe I'm such a bad kisser. Oh, no, no, no. You shouldn't be worried about being a bad kisser. You should be worried that you don't know how to drive. You should be worried that you don't know how to drive and you're a junior. Stop feeding into negative stereotypes about being gay. To be a lesbian and to not be able to drive, you need to, you need to break out of stereotypes. You need to break out of boxes. Tear down the walls. That's what I'm saying, guys. Lesbians, let's go. Pick up the car keys. Let's get on the road. She kissed you and she hasn't talked to you since. Embarrassing. Oh, that's embarrassing. And it couldn't be me. Everyone that I've kissed has talked to me afterwards. <laughs> so. <laughs> if you kissed me, would you talk to me afterwards? Leave a comment down below you after school the other night okay what were you doing there if not to get your notebook i think it's gabby i think gabby is king pun and i'm sticking by it so don't get it twisted i'm sticking by that statement i also said i was sticking by aj being king pun and then i took that back so we'll see what happens we're playing seven minutes in the hotel bathroom and it's a track tradition but the way it's such a long game, like seven minutes for each of these people, like it's such a long game to just sit there and be like, if you don't want to do anything. What's your background? Tessa Thompson is Valkyrie. <laughs> AJ, it's you. When I'm Cupid. Oh my God. Gabby has a picture of herself as her background. That's weird. What a freak. That's a freak right there. Ew. Humans are meant to sit in chairs in the sky, you know? Like, like that's messed up if you think about it. Damn. <laughs> we are bad at the small talk thing. We're so bad at small talk. Should we make out? 
Yeah, I mean, what, can, can you imagine what suddenly we're, we're hardcore making out? Mm. I can imagine it. I'm not opposed to it either. Kissing someone? Kissing you. Woo! Sorry, that's really good. That's really good. And the girls weren't liking this movie? And the girls weren't liking this movie. What's not clicking? What's not clicking that you wouldn't like this? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was great setup. That was great delivery. And in the bathroom, in the bathtub, like the girls were not liking this. What? Do, what was that making sense? Is it hard having a twin? Oh, I mean, I love her. twins. I didn't get that. <laughs> I didn't get that. I didn't get twins. Sorry, I wasn't getting that. I love that choice to put the smoke and the colors behind their heads to represent that she's falling for them. I think it's so cute. I think it's so like cartoony and like uh, head over heels visualized. And I think it's just so cute. And I don't know, I like bringing that stuff back. Like the same with Heartstopper when I watched it, when it had all the animations and stuff on it, I just really liked it. So I love it in this movie that they kind of have that like <gasps> animated style where it's like, ah, I'm head over heels. I'm like, my heart. It's exploding while looking at you. I love that. I hope they're cuddling. No, they're not. <laughs> um, that does not look like cuddling to me. That looks like a painful, crippling anxiety. <laughs> that looks like painful, crippling anxiety keeping me up through the night. It does not look like cuddling. Why does no one want to kiss me? Um, because you're a little much. <laughs> um, I hate to break it to you, but you're a little much. Good night. Asking someone who wanted to kiss you so bad, why doesn't anyone want to kiss them? Asking someone that previously wanted to kiss you, that just denied kissing you, asking them why no one wants to kiss you is humbling. It's humbling and you would never catch me saying that. <laughs> you would never ever see me saying that. Because to me, to me, if there's this idea that everyone wants to kiss me in my head, then that there's no breaking that. There's no breaking that. Everybody wants this. Miller High second place? Oh my god, they didn't even win. They got second place. Why are they so excited? I'm actually a bitch because it is fine to get second place and you should be excited about getting second place. I don't know why I was so rude about that. It's really not what No, it it's seems. fine. You don't have to explain yourself. Okay. Okay. Can we please talk? No, it's fine. It's just a kiss, right? I'm king pun, so we're even. Oh, what? Shit. I fucking knew it. I should have trusted my gut instinct. I knew it. I fucking knew it. And then I, I let away that gut instinct because I was I was clouded by cute lesbian love scenes. And I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. There's no way she could be King Pun. Oh my God, I fucking knew it. And I should have stick to that. I should have stuck to that instinct because the instinct was strong. Everything I do is always overshadowed by you, Gabs. I needed something that was mine. Ali is doing the performance of her lifetime right now. Just let second place feel like last today, okay? Second place always feels like last. Second place always feels like last. It always feels like last. Second place never feels good. Second place is loser's place. Yay! Second place! Did me in with your grief. We grew into something heavy. Oh my god. Paige is a really bad artist. <laughs> Paige is not good. I, if I was still mad at this point, I would have turned around. Like, if someone tried to give me a pun whenever I was, like, upset, I'd, like, actually... I'd make you rue the day you ever did that. Paige Evans! Oh, she looks insane. She, lo she looks like red light, green light girl from Squid Game. I'm scared. I'm really scared of her. It's, it's not about trash. Paige, I don't really want to talk about Just it. let me finish up. Okay? Euphoria Lexi's play. Let's air out all school drama in front of a crowd because it makes it better. It makes it better and it makes it more intense and it makes it more funny to realize that no one can hear what they're saying. Feels like, Yo, I can't hear anything. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. 
That was written straight out of the Trin level screenplay. And making this has been the easiest thing I've made all semester. <laughs> oh, it's ugly. People are like, who are these people? Who are these people? Oh my God, why do they all look scary? Oh, you haven't slept in 24 hours and it looks like that? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so bad. Grand gestures and it's ugly. I think if we kiss them, the idea. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. <laughs> yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. I know you took some of my hair. I know that you're in love with me. Whoa, okay. Don't flatter yourself. You're not my type. Two, of course I took your hair. How else is the love spell supposed to work? I'm exhausted. <gasps> she really just called us out. Page. Oh my god. Pause. That's actually that was an amazing callback and a great Oh my god, and I didn't even see it coming. That was brilliant. And I don't know why I'm saying it like it's like literally Picasso. I'm seeing Picasso work in real life like but for some reason like I wasn't seeing that coming and it was just like it was magnificent. The witch is part of the friend group. Thank god. That's right. that's what she deserves after she set them up. You know what? It looks pretty damn good. Okay, I have so much to say, and uh, let's wrap it up all the thoughts. Like, really quickly, let's, let's, let's do a run-through of all the thoughts. Thank you, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring today's video. Helix Sleeps makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your every need and are conveniently shipped right to your front door. And Helix Sleeps actually uses a quiz to find your perfect mattress, and I recently took the quiz. They have something for everybody's unique taste, and this is also perfect if you have a partner and you're sleeping with a partner, and you guys can take the quiz together and find the mattress that fits both of your needs and make the perfect compromise. So I sleep alone, so I put that into the quiz. I also sleep in the dead center of my bed. I sleep on my side and my stomach usually, and I like a medium firmness. I don't like it too firm because it literally strains my back and I don't like it too soft because then I concave and I, I like sleep like this and then my back hurts in a whole other type of way. So I input that all into the quiz and the one that they suited best for me was the Twilight Lux mattress. So I actually don't have the mattress right now, but in one second you will see Trin with all of her thoughts on that mattress. So the next footage you're about to see is me putting my Helix mattress into my brand new apartment. And the people who are putting it up are actually not me. It's my sister and my dad because they were in charge of doing the bed. They made the bed frame and then they put the mattress in. So thanks, Keely. Thanks, dad. Now, I couldn't really tell if we were just stupid or if this was not the easiest thing to get out of the box. But I think it definitely comes down to us being so tired and so sweaty and so done with this day that we like could not like figure out how to get the mattress outside of the box but once we got it on it was actually really simple you just like let it like poof up and roll out and then you take off the plastic and then it inflates and then you go ooh, ah it's inflating i've had my helix mattress for about a week now and i absolutely love it and that's not just me saying that i've literally told like everyone that i really like my helix mattress it's the perfect amount of firmness for me um i have switched from a more soft mattress to a a medium firmness and I completely love it. It is so nice. I woke up and my back felt supported. It didn't have any strain on it. Usually if I like go to a hotel or something, my back feels the weight of the world on it for some reason. It is super comfortable. And on that first night when my parents left me in my apartment and I was crying my eyes out, I had a wonderful slumber on my Helix mattress. So my eyes were swollen and puffy the next morning 
in, but my back was not hurting or strained. It's super easy to buy online and the quiz is super quick and simple to take. And this was definitely the perfect mattress for me. With your Helix Sleep Mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. And there are financing options and flexible payment plans for your Helix Mattress. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash trend level for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Thank you Helix for sponsoring today's video. Okay, overall thoughts. In the beginning, I was I was definitely getting from the beginning like ugh, BuzzFeed and I don't even know how to like, I don't even know why I'm using that as like a descriptor, like a descriptive word for like how to uh, categorize something, but it was, it was giving, it was, it was BuzzFeed, ah! like, um, it was weird and it was, it was, uh, trying too hard, but the actual plots that were going on, like, not just the setup and not just, like, the, you know, the one-liners that were kind of, like, off and cringy, like, the actual plot, the A plot and B plot were actually, like, very solid. I freaking love the ending story and how it all ties together. I think this was a really fun movie. I thought it was sweet. I thought it was like a cute little rom-com. I thought they were like actual like genuine moments where I was like laughing and I thought it was like really cute. And I thought the chemistry between Rowan and Ali'i were, it was amazing. Um, honestly, like I, my theory stands still, like it literally stands so strong get actors who absolutely despise each other, you will get the best chemistry you've ever seen on camera. Thank you and goodbye. Like that's really it. Rom-com is a super huge genre and it was bumping and popping in the late 90s to early 2000s and it's faded off since. And I'm glad with the resurgence of rom-coms, we're also seeing rom-coms of queer stories. I think it is a brilliant way to revive the genre. I thought this was a great take on a love triangle. I thought it was going to be oh my god, this is the only other gay girl in school, or oh my god, this is the straight girl and she doesn't like me, or oh my god, like, all these kind of, like, stereotypical, like, been there, done that gay plots that we've seen. I liked it that there was, like, tons of lesbians in this. I loved it that there was, like, so many people for her to, like, get with, but, like, she, like, it was, like, it was way more normalized in the story itself. It wasn't, like, I'm the only gay girl in school and I have a crush on the straight girl. I think Hulu is kind of, it's kind of knocking it out of the park because the last Hulu lesbian original movie I watched was Happiest Season and I freaking loved, I loved Happiest Season with Kristen Stewart. Like that movie like is my holiday movie now. I'm just very excited to see a teen lesbian rom-com. It is quite amazing and I... I like this movie. I thought it was cute. I would give it like a three, 3.5. I thought it was cute. It's not winning any awards, but it didn't ruin my day. And I would watch it in my free time. And it was like an hour and 30 minutes. Like bring short movies back because we need them to prevail in society. We need them to move forward in society. So thank you. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends. Also, if you liked it, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My Instagram is at TCAR Level. I've been posting on there more. And my Twitter is at Level Trend. I've been posting. I'm always posting on Twitter. So definitely make sure you guys go follow me there. Um, you guys can also follow me on Letterboxd to know what movies I'm doing next. My Letterboxd at Level Trend as well. So make sure you guys follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.